the extent of the issue is that um some of the most important people in the world right so people like uh Elon Musk uh, people like Barack Obama uh Joe Biden who is the presidential candidate for for the US elections later this year uh these are the kind of people whose um accounts were compromised so uh the extent is 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 that you know it it it's basically a show of muscle by uh the hacking community as much as anything else right where you know these are people who who went ahead and 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 showed what they could do from the actual tweet itself which was basically a crypto scam uh you know which which asked people to donate uh, crypto uh, currencies for ostensibly for uh, charity purposes uh the actual extent is not much it it is it is limited to 150000 uh, dollars per uh, was the total amount which was uh which which accumulated from from this an interesting development that's happened out of this is that there is a instagram account which has been linked to the attack which has tweeted uh, which has put put a post in saying that it was a charity attack uh you know that the money raised will be will be used for charity the biggest problem the weakest link in the cybersecurity chain is often the person from what twitter has put out it is one of their employees who was either coerced or compromised uh to share uh, uh credentials uh to internal tools uh or, you know though that, that there was some compromise in that uh which led to this uh, this this hack i don't think it's a technical issue i think it's it's fundamentally uh an issue of uh, you know uh, people uh being the weakest link now what is the way around it uh that's something that twitter will need to address uh, you know o- over the next over the next few weeks but i believe that uh, you know this is this has been taken note of by the united states senate and an investigation is on the fbi has has also taken cognizance of it uh, i think fundamentally uh, this is uh, 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 an attack on one of the basic more basic fights that's happening online which is the which is the uh, fight for identity right uh, verification of identity has always been an issue on uh, on on social media platforms for god knows how long and twitter was one of the first companies to actually come out with a solution at scale one of the first major companies that has to come out with a solution at scale which is to verify an an account when these tweets went out from a bunch of verified accounts i think what it portends is is the is the attack on identity itself right uh, why is identity important the identity of people is important because you are essentially confirming uh, that this person is who they say they are who they claim to be uh, and 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 verification allowed people to confirm that they are in fact talking to uh, somebody who is credible so if it's if it's say prime minister modi uh, tweeting from a verified account you knew that this was this was what uh, the official line of uh, the government was right i think the issue has really been that uh, the attack has has been one on the idea of credibility the idea of trust uh on 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 some of these platforms which have been used as broadcasting mechanisms by the uh the establishment a major political figure like the US president uh you know his primary medium of communication is twitter right uh so the so tomorrow if uh, uh there is another uh, message which uh, i don't know it could be about uh any number of things right uh, which which comes out of the us president's twitter account uh do we believe it I, i i think that is the question right until yesterday there was some amount of assurity that uh the blue ticked verified account what it tweets was actually the voice of uh, uh and voice from the 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 person it was right so whether it was us president whether it was uh, elon musk or whoever now today that's the credibility that's been affected i think it's a good thing that it's a bitcoin uh, scam uh, it is a good thing that it was not uh, a disinformation campaign 
the fundamental problem here is disinformation right if if, if tomorrow a verified account tweets out disinformation uh then you have a huge issue of believability you, you know you can influence elections you can influence uh, uh public you can influence the mob now uh, is it possible for twitter to come out of it yes uh but it it would need to put uh systems and processes in place and demonstrate to users that these systems uh, that have been put in place are uh going to prevent a repetition of at least this mode of attack will there be other attacks yes there will be there are always going to be attacks but it's essentially about your resilience uh to 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 stand up and and push back in fact uh, there is another uh, sort of hack that happened yesterday uh, which was the which was actually announced yesterday uh by the united kingdom uh where uh united kingdom has attributed russian uh, actors uh as as um you know pushing back on some of the covid-19 uh, vaccine research uh you know that's been happening out of the united kingdom probably these two taken together uh makes the last 2 3 days some some of the most interesting to watch uh as somebody who is a cyber security observer it's an interesting time uh there has always been talk of a uh, uh, cyber pearl harbor i don't think the twitter compromises that but uh, it's probably the the biggest and uh, the most potent attack in a long time